All right, I'm going to show you guys how can we do this using Mantle. Just show them about the squad goals. So I'm now in Mantle testnet. I can go to the app and I can see different challenges here. They will appear 30 days of exercise. You can check the details if you click here, but I'm gonna just uh, demo the launch of challenges. So I'm gonna create a no coffee seven days and I'm gonna say that coffee is bad and then seven one B token two maximum number of stakers and the tags I'm gonna put it as fitness and I'm gonna create with a picture so this is going to mint an NFT and then it's going to interact with smart contract as well uh, this this challenge is gonna be a contract so it's gonna interact with our factory okay we send a transaction there and now we can go to app and we will be able to see our challenge over here next I'm gonna click details I'm gonna you can see there is a one bit stake and six days remaining I can join it myself I am the creator but I can still join it all right and then I'm gonna change to a, another account so I can see if I log into another account I can see that another person has already joined I'm gonna call me a store and now if I go to app I can see that two people have actually filled the spots and yep we just need to wait until the time is is due uh, for voting and this is going to be showcasing localhost because this is time dependent and i need to increase the time of the network to quickly go through the functionalities of a squad goals in my localhost because this is a time dependent app and i need to increase my time and execute some scripts that only will work on a local network to see the results. So I'm going to connect my wallet. I'm going to reset my wallet nonsense first. So I go to app, I can see uh, dif different challenges. I can click on one and see the details. Stake 100 ETH, duration 29 days remaining. This is a 30 day challenge and this is the contract address of the challenge. Each challenge is gonna be a contract. Then I'm going to launch a challenge here. I'm going to call it uh, no coffee for 30 for seven days. And I'm gonna say that coffee is bad. And then duration is gonna be seven. If it's take, I'm gonna put it to ten. And maximum number of stakers, I'm gonna put it to two. Fitness image. This is going to be uploaded into IPFS, and then it's gonna pass the metadata to an NFT. So basically, each challenge is an NFT, and this is gonna be deployed from the smart contract squad goals. And now I'm going to confirm right and then i can go to app and i can see my no coffee for seven days challenge over here and it says zero to two spots filled now i can go and i can join i'm the creator but i can still join it so i'm gonna call myself as mike i have joined and then i'm going to change to another account and i'm going to join as well i'm going to call my my name as door Right, and then I can see us. Uh, I am not now locked as Thor, and I can see that Mike has already joined this challenge. And actually, if I go to app, I can see that this challenge has two, uh, two of two spots filled. I can go there, and what I'm going to do now. So after you have joined with your friends, and the time has passed, you will be able to vote. But now I cannot vote because this is not the deadline like it hasn't finished yet 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run a script to increase the time of my local network. Uh, it's a hard hat net hard hat node, so that I can execute this transaction. Uh, this is the script that I'm running. I'm going to increase the number of days by eight, and I'm going to ex execute this. Okay, and then um, I can try this, and I'm going to be able to execute this transaction now. And transaction success, and then I'm going to change to another account. This is the previous account, this is Mike. I'm locked as Mike and I can also click this to yes and execute. So what I have done now is uh, both participants of this challenge have already finished um, the voting and they have voted for both of them as yes. So after they have voted uh, for yes and the time window for voting is finished, anyone can execute the payouts in the contract and the amounts will be reimbursed to them and what I am going to do now is I'm going to run a script to execute those payouts but first I'm going to increase the time by three because the voting time window is three days and I can just increase it by three and I will be able to, to execute payouts but first I can also show you how I can execute the payouts and these can this will fail because the time hasn't finished This is the execute payouts script. I am going to copy paste this address here. It's working. And then this should fail because the time hasn't passed. The deadline hasn't passed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to first increase the time by three. Three days. And I'm going to show you guys the balance that I have. So I have 9989 uh, ETH. So I have 89 at the end ETH. And I'm going to execute the payouts and they should reimburse me uh, some ETH. So as you can see now my balance is 9999. And yes, that's uh, the part of loading and executing the payouts and joining the challenge. Now the challenge has disappeared. It's 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 not active anymore. But you can go to again challenge, and I can I can go and try to clone this challenge and make a copy so I can join with another other friends as well. So I'm going to connect my wallet. So the challenge is finished. I can't do anything anymore. It has already passed. But what I can do is I can create a copy of it. So after I created a copy, this copy is going to appear here. And I can go and do the same as what I did before. I can join. Uh, the time passes. I have to vote. And it's, it is uh, how this app works. Thank you.